Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplified Guitar, and in this lesson I want to teach you how to play the song Your Hands by J.J. Heller. As always, I'm going to play through the song for you first, and then at the end I will break it down and explain it to you in more detail, so be sure to stick around for that. For now, let's go ahead and play through the song. For this song, I'm going to be using mainly four chords from the C chord family. We're going to have the C chord, the F over C chord, the A minor chord, or A minor 7, and the G chord. Now we're going to have a couple of slash chords in here, but, but the F over C chord is going to be our root chord. Um, for those slash chords. Another thing to keep in mind that for the G chord, usually we're going to play it with these three fingers, our second, third, and fourth finger, our fourth finger down on the third fret of the high E string. But in this case, because I'm doing a certain finger picking pattern, which I'll get to in a second, I'm not actually going to be hitting that low E string, so I don't need to put my pinky down, and that makes actually makes transitioning a lot easier from that C and back to that C if I don't need to use my pinky. So I want to show you that progression that we have in the chorus with the F chord, okay? We're going to have um, a, we're, we're creating like a walk with the F. So we're going to start with the F over C in this case where I've got my pinky down on the third fret of the D string. So I'm going to start by hitting that root note right there, which is my F chord. So I'm going to hit that first with my thumb. And then from there, I need to walk down from that F note to an E note. So what I need to do is pick up that pinky finger 
take my second finger and move it up to the D string second fret and that's going to create my E note so again walking down F E F E and then I'm going to go to a G chord again I don't need my pinky in this song and then a little bit later we have a, a little bit longer of a walk again we're going to be going from F to E to D to B to C okay that's the progression we want to hear but we need to do that progression while we're playing chords so we're going to start with that F chord and we're going to have the F chord playing with my thumb on that D string switching to that chord here with my second finger on the second fret of the D string and then I'm just going to pick that finger up and do it again and then I'm going to take that second finger and put it down on the second fret of the A string and then I'm going to play a C chord again For the strum pattern for this song, we're going to be using a finger picking pattern that's super simple. It's just going to be two beats that are repeated over and over and over again. So I'm just going to hold the C chord for an example. And what's very important with this finger pattern, as well as pretty much any finger pattern, is that we always start on the root note of the chord. So if I'm playing a C chord, I need to start on the C note, which is going to be my A string. Okay with my third finger down on the third fret of that A string that creates the C note okay so I'm going to use my thumb to hit that root note okay and then I'm going to use two fingers for my next beat and I'm going to in this case I'm going to do the G string and B string with those two fingers I'm going to hit them both at the same time and that is the whole pattern we have one two one two, one, two. Now when this changes is when my root note changes strings. So let's say I go to the G chord. When I go to the G chord, my root note changes from the A string to the E string. So I, my thumb just needs to move up to that E string. But my second and third finger are gonna stay on B and G. Another time that root note is going to change strings is for the, the uh, F chord. So when I go to my F, my thumb needs to go to the D string. But my, second, my first and second finger are going to stay on the B and G. So that thumb is going to move around from the E, A, and D string, but your first and second finger are going to always stay on the uh, B and G string, the whole song. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.